Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again today and this time around I don't know who to play as. I'm not actually sure. Maybe we'll go back to some of the earlier characters that we haven't played in a little while. Let's just go as Fish. It's been some time. We haven't even unlocked anything for Fish. What's our B skin? Reach loop um, with Fish Partner only and loop with every character. Hot damn. Anyways, let's just jump in and have some more good old nuclear th fun. It's been a little while since I've recorded Nuclear Throne, actually. That was some bad hits there. It's been a little while since I've recorded Nuclear Throne, actually. Um, I just, I don't know. I just haven't been recording it. I've had it backlogged for a while, so it's been a little bit sort of behind the scenes for me until I kind of got back into it. But I did see that um, good old Alexa started playing some Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod for his Aleximus, which is really cool. I suggested it to him back a while ago, uh, so I'm glad to see that he um, that he took a look at it, because I think it is one of the best mods ever made for any game. <laughs> Honestly, it's so comprehensive and crazy. I really, really love it, and I'm glad to be back playing it again. Um, we've got some new mutes and stuff, I think, to go at. Let's um, just go with Rhino Skin early on. But yeah, there's been some rebalances and stuff since I last played. There's been some uh, new enemies. I think there's... Um, Quite a few new guns as well. I mean this this mod just gets updated non-stop. You guys know You guys know what this guy's like. He just updates this thing like absolutely crazy There you go. Nice easy kill on the boss and this looks like a good area for rads to be honest I'm, I'm really liking having the blood rifle early on to just destroy all the bullets. It makes life a lot easier I really should use blood weapons more late game. It's just there's not too many of them that are like super super strong So it's a little bit difficult to use them uh, more ammo is good, but I think I'm gonna go for glass arm cannon. Um, I think that makes the most sense to lower the HP a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just adjust the volume down to 1%, just to make it a little more appealing, I hope. Because it was a little bit loud before. If you guys think it's too quiet now, let me know. I tried to get a good balance between my voice and the game, and I can never really tell from my end what that balance actually should be. It sounds fine to me now. I've got an assassin here. Very rarely get assassins down here, but there's one. Be interesting to see some more, um, some more like weak enemies, like these rats and stuff like that. Not that I think the mod requires it at all. It's got plenty of content. Um, there's a, there's something blood based that's good. I like that heavy blood pistol over the blood rifle. I like those chests. Those are the chests that are like. Um, like, you get an extra strong weapon from it. And you can qu quite clearly see that this thing is uh, very, very good. Like I said, this might be a, a pretty blood-based run here. Charge laser. Um, what should we go for here? <clears throat> Could go with bouncy fat. think I'm going to go for plutonium hunger, though. Let's go with the charge laser. Interesting. Okay, it kind of fires as you charge it now. That's a bit different from how it worked before. Okay, let's try and work our way into here. I did not want to destroy that, but it's happened now. Yes, Plutonium Hunger's very nice here. Able to heal up very, very easily. Is it charging? Okay, there you go. It's just a bit buggy with the charging, I think. It's it's still firing while it's charging. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. <laughs> Either way, it's good. Um, alien intestines could be good. Yeah, let's go with the alien intestines, because then we can use our roll to deal damage and get out of the way of stuff. I don't really use my roll enough as this guy, so it makes sense to me to use it now. Get out of here, you. Just gotta make sure not to use it near cars, because otherwise I will kill myself. I've been known to do that in the past many a time. Yeah, that's really nice, that. Having that roll tied to the alien intestines. Yeah, like I'm trying to charge it now, and it's just not... There you go, now it's charging. It's a little bit tricky. Frost... Flame gun. Wait, no. Frost flare gun, sorry. Eh, I don't really want to take a chaos gun right now. 
I'm really happy with our uh, Heavy Blood Revolver. It's doing a very good job. Whenever there's a, a big guy like this, we'll do a roll next to him to do a bit more damage. Works really well. Really, really well. I am a big fan. Got you as well. Heavy pop gun. It uses the same ammo, but could be fun. We haven't got any weapon mods right now. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Nice and easy floor there. We're doing really well right now. Um, <clears throat> trigger fingers for later on could be good, depending on the weapons we get. Oh, there's a Kraken gun. You know how much I love a Kraken gun. Is it not? Is it not doing damage? It seems to be having a really hard time dealing damage to this boss for some reason. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Just use this for now. Yeah, Kraken Gun didn't really seem to work there for some reason. But it will work against these guys. Gotta love Kraken Gun, especially with Alien Testing as well. You've got like the whole shebang going. It's quite satisfying. Also, this with um, what's it called? Uh, trigger fingers that we just took. Really, really nice. I'm loving having um, the extra reach distance. Bouncer Flak Cannon. Bouncer Flak Cannon could be good. Lovely. We'll use our Heavy Pistol now for a bit for the next stage, I think. Bit low on ammo there. This thing's still killing really fast and obviously deleting shots that are coming towards us at the same time, so... Oh my god, Alien Intestine. It's just so good, man. He's charge it up to full. Go into a crowded area. And it just annihilates everything. Sticky launch is not really that good for us right now. Beautiful. Okay, through the portal we go. It's only our first one, so we're not going to get any weapon mods in here, unfortunately. So this is new. The tail end. The tail's end. Burst weapons fire more. Charge weapons charge faster. Kind of an interesting idea. I like it. I mean, obviously it's not applicable to this run. Replace 2 HP with 1 armor. When you are missing um, armor, reduce reload. And we have a chance to drop armor. Let's take that. Obviously, it's put us back into base HP now, but... That's why we took Iron Skin in the first place, or whatever it's... Not Iron Skin, you know what I mean. Whatever it's called. What the hell is it called? Rhino Skin, that's the one. Okay, so this is going to be really good against him because of the blood weapon. Makes this guy actually tolerable. What are you doing, son? Can you, like, chill out for a bit? There you go. He's playing silly buggers there. Right, we've got some ammo for this bad boy now. So right now we've got no, um... We've got no armor, which means we have even faster reload. That tri uh, mixed with trigger fingers seems like it's going to be pretty... Pretty strong for fire rate. It seems like our fire rate's going to be kind of insane. It is. <laughs> Good. I think I'm going to use my blood weapons here because these guys are doing the whole shooting through walls shebang that is sort of difficult to predict. Good, good. Really good setup here. But yeah, enemies do have a chance to drop armor now as well, which is, of course, very nice on top of everything else. Missed out on those rads there. Box gun? Box guns? Okay, no. Box guns is not what I thought it was. I'm still going to stick with what I've got here. The defensive option seems the best way for us right now. Good. It's good for like the alien intestines is just also good for like finishing off an enemy. Like if if they if you just miss the one or two bullets on them, you just roll near them to uh, get a little bit more damage on them and finish them off. Doesn't always have to be like completely just for the kill. Okay, here we can actually carve ourselves some safety, which is. Slightly difficult right now, but... This thing really struggles with killing bosses, doesn't it? It does a lot of damage when it does hit, but it kind of struggles actually hitting. There you go. We got him. Is that it? Nope, it's not. There's a few more of you over here. Very bad hit at the end there. 
Um, let's have a little look. So we could take bouncy fat for some safety. Elastic fists could be good based on our HP. Um, slap resources. Yeah, we'll go for the resource slap because that can give you HP, I think. I think resources counts as anything that you can pick up. Oh, obviously it helps with ammo as well, which is nice. It also seems to do half decent damage as well with the slap. All round, not bad at all. Oh, being able to kill one of those guys in one is so very nice. So very nice. They have about 120 HP, don't they? Okay, that's it. Cool. Armor's not been too big of a problem for us either so far. I'm a bit surprised we haven't found any armor yet, though. Really? Come on now. Also, this is really cool. It tells you where you've been. Um, that is not how I expected to go. I'll be honest. That is not how I expected to go. <laughs> God damn it. This game can be very cruel sometimes. Felt like that was a really, really good run. And I had perished due to my own stupidity. As, as I have there as well. It's okay though. Even my fire rate now just feels pathetic. We'll go through here. We got a crossbow out of it as well, so should be slightly more well equipped for this area. It's going to be weird not having plutonium hunger for a little while here as well. It's all good though. Oh, we got an inverted as well. It's going to be rather risky, but also kind of nice. Risky, but nice is the way I like to play. Uh, we could go for the extra damage. I think we'll go for Rabbit's Paw, though. Ooh, this area. I forget how good this area looks in Inverted. Good old Bullet Popper. Okay, you fire try shot, I see. Not too difficult to deal with. This shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if the boss is on the stage or not. This shouldn't be too bad, though. Right, try and get our weapon mod wherever we can. This is, this is a new IDPD guy, right? That's that's definitely new. Oh, fuck me. I, I just realised what was going on with that guy there. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's chill out a minute. Reload speed on this thing would be nice. Oh, HP there was very, very good. Um, alien testings proved to be very, very good last time, so I think I'm going to take that. Um, more melee range and size is kind of nice. Alkaline Saliva will take that. Bouncer Revolver? Yeah, I'll take a Bouncer Revolver. Eh, nah, Bullet Popper's probably better. Let's go through. Remember to roll if we need to kill sort of a more aggressive group of enemies or a larger group of enemies, should I say. Like that. Oh, there's the boss. Fucking good timing. I don't even know what this... I was just about to say, did not know what that version of that boss had in store for us. Clearly what it had in store for us is a sweet, sweet release of death. Okay, get in here before it shuts. I do want to try and go this, this path, because I do quite like this path. When I've got an, like a decent weapon for it as well, it's not so bad. Oh, we got the Toxic Line. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Obviously, the self-damage potential of this thing is high. But overall, the Toxic Line is very, very good. It's very long range. Lots and lots of Toxic. But we do want to take our Pistol of the Revolver, though, there. Otherwise, we're going to be a little bit stuck for ammo. Cool. Keep going. Um, in this situation, Puffy Cheeks maybe, we'll go for Puffy Cheeks, and then Bloodlust maybe. Only thing is, just getting the rads is a little difficult. Also, as you saw there, that enemy got too close, and I mean, I couldn't actually hit them correctly. It's a little annoying. Pistol's still not bad against those guys. I love any of the line weapons. The line weapons I've found to be really, really strong. 
Hold the line. Poison's not always on time. No, no. Grenade revolver. Ah, uh, same ammo again. Bye. Thought we go straight away. Okay, so we don't want to use the toxic line right here, otherwise we're going to fuck ourselves up. We can use it there, though. I like, quite literally hold the line. Getting a getting the bloodline is the is the true the true experience. Okay, I I need to play way more cautiously here. I keep pushing a little bit too hard towards the enemy. Okay, this isn't a good enough weapon for this. Didn't need to press enter that. My bad. We need some golden weapons as this guy. Realistically, our golden weapon uh, selection obviously now is not good because we have none. It'd be nice to uh, have something else to play around with. Okay, this the thing has shut this time around. Assault pistol will take. Let's let's just keep on going and try and get um try and get ourselves some golden weapons unlocked this time. I think we're in desperate need. We could maybe do the uh, ultra chest uh, crown. See if we can get something working with that. Blood rifle will tear. Obviously proves to be very good for us. Nice. Um, power craving. I'd really like to take that early on. I think power craving can be very strong. I'll use the uh, thingy pistol for now. Assault pistol. It's a little bit better. I really like some of the early game weapons. They're quite fun. Laser pistol him for a bit. There you go. Oh, I did hear a sheep spawn then. Oh, it's because I got morph on this. Bit confused about what that was for a second. Tough shell also gives plus one max HP now, which is pretty nice. I think I'm going to take scarier face though. I don't really know what 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 is the actual benefit of morph. Is it is it just that the enemies die a bit quicker, like the they they reach a threshold and then transform? As in, like once you get them down to ten percent HP, they automatically transform, or is it just, like, cosmetic? I can't really tell. It doesn't seem to make it that much better. But then again, like, the Morpho Ray guns and stuff are pretty good, so maybe it is the health threshold sort of idea. Keep going this way for starters here. What we got there? Kraken gun. I think I'll take that. Kraken Launch is the one that you want, but Kraken Gun is pretty good. Kraken Launcher is much better, though. What, what we got on this? I don't even know what mod that is. This we got Fire. I don't know what the mod we got on this thing is. Okay. I do like the bouncy bouncies on this. Ooh, Inverted Portal. Lovely. I definitely take Bolt Marrow, considering. With Bouncer on this, it's uh, pretty darn good. I got hit by something there. I'm not quite sure what. I think I just missed a bullet that was coming towards me. Right, nice. Explodey guy there. Yeah, there's definitely some new purple, which is pretty cool. Straight through here. Um, second stomach. Second stomach could be good. Yeah, let's take it. And then we've got Kraken or Swarm. Let's go with Kraken. Lovely stuff. We're not high enough level yet to take the crown, so let's hold off on that. Oh, baby. This is some good stuff right here. There's like bubbles appearing from uh, enemies when I, when I kill them. I'm not sure which modifi modification that is. Is that, is that Kraken? It's doing that. It might well be. Nice and easy on that dude. And what we got here? Bouncer. Okay, Bouncer's really good on this too. Okay, th this is a pretty good setup we've got on this so far. Ion Bomb's pretty good, but I'm yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. We're into the fire world now. 
This is a really, really powerful weapon mod setup. As you can clearly see, up to level 6 already. It's just shit bouncing off everywhere, and all of it's got herming as well, obviously, on top of that. Kraken's doing some damage over time for us, too. Anything that can make this even better. Um, absorbing pause is also really, really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Oh my god, this is amazing. Obviously, with it being bouncer as well, it kind of always hits. Good, good. So, replace flame. Oh, wait, no. Replace herming. Ah, that's herming. Replace... Bouncer. Frost. I'm going to try and replace herming, because I don't think herming is actually that useful on this. It might be. I might be wrong. But I think herming's not very good, and I think frost will be... Like, real, real good. Hyper pop rifle seems real good. In fact, I think hyper pop rifle's gonna be way better for killing this guy. You dead? Nope. Goddamn ought to be. Holy shit, how much health do you have, my guy? Okay. Nice and easy. We need, Now all we need is some, like, proper protection. I think getting ourselves some actual protection would be really, really nice. This is insane. How did I not get hit there? Just keep firing, it'll, it'll hit things eventually. And we were open an inverted portal there that I barely even saw. Impact wrists will be a lot of fun with this, I think. Just the chain reaction events going on seems fun. I'm trying to get all the rads I can without getting myself in harm's way too much, but it's not always going to be plausible. Lightning on this. It went straight through, I think. Pop Rifle, Kraken Grenade Launcher could be interesting. It's dangerous, but it could be interesting. But I think this thing's better, if I can manage to grab it at some point. If it's going to mersey on down over towards me at any point, there you go. And I can put Kraken on it. Alright, one second. Uh... Right, sorry about that. Okay, let's um, let's exit through here. Oh, straight away, okay. Oh god, this is gonna be- this is really bad location for this. There's a good chance I die here. I've just got very, very little maneuvering room. Okay, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Surprisingly. I thought that was gonna go a lot worse than it did. Blood Plasma Rifle. Some really cool weapons here. I think we've got a pretty good setup right now. Throwing Butt is not super important. I think we'll just take Rabbit Paw here. Like, look how much damage this thing can do. It's 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 a level, like, 3 weapon, a level 2 weapon or whatever. It's, it's doing nuts damage. But then I just get insta-gibbed by that guy. Okay. But yeah, look at this little new thing here. Anyways, I think we'll leave this episode here. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad to see, like, all the new content and stuff, and we'll keep playing. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.